Hello fellow modelers, in today's bonus video let's make luxury wooden display stand for a ship model. First you need nice pedestals, you can buy some cheap wooden but these ones are good for old sailing ships, therefore I rather use minimalistic brass pedestals, I bought them for 10 dollars. I only need to modify them a little bit. I am cutting out protrusions for sailing ship models, because the most of the World War II ships had a flat hull. You can use handsaw for metal, but easier is to use electric tools, like a Dremel or Proxon. The clean brass is nicely shiny and yellow, so let's polish it slightly. I am using polishing paste, which was in the cheap set for micro tool. However, the better effect I achieve with the Tamiya polishing compounds. The result before and after is lovely. Ok, now some woodwork. I bought in the building supply store this nice fresh hole between doors. It's made from hardwood, so it is good quality material. You can use it as it is, but why not to make it more interesting? I decided to adjust the edges and make them fancier. If you have expensive milling cutters for your micro tool, you can use them and make a nice precise edges. I mentioned that it is expensive solution, and I assume you do not have home all the pro tools. Instead, you can buy for your micro grinder cheap sanding wheels and make grooved edges only with them. This process is more time consuming and probably more difficult for precision, but nothing what you can make. If it looks difficult, you can simply make beveled edges with a sandpaper. It is good to draw guidelines and correct symmetry. Ok, I know the result is not precise as with a machine milling cutters, but I'm quite pleased with the result. I measure the position of the pedestals and ship hull, so how to attach the ship and base? Now it will be easy. The pedestals have a hole for M4 screw. So let's drill out some happy holes into the wood. I chose 12 cm from both sides and found the center. I recommend drill bits for wood. They have a sharp spike so that you will make a precise hole. You can also use flat one, but they are mostly for universal use or for metal. The bolt nicely fits in, but the head protrudes the bottom of the base. The solution is simple. I am drilling from the bottom a larger hole. This one is not going through, make it only a few millimeters deep. We need only hide the bolt's head. Ok, now the other side and that is ship hull. You can measure and find the center by residual mode lines or ejector pin marks. Then draw your guideline with a soft pencil. What is good for wood is also good for plastic. Make two M4 holes into the ship hull. Now assemble all together, add one metal washer and fix everything with a nut. As you can see, this connection is very stable and durable, so you don't need to worry about the finished model that could fail. Only one more thing, I recommend gluing the nut and washer with a flexible super glue, 
because after the full assemble, you mostly don't have access to the interior of the hull. Suppose you do not believe in the super glue, you can fix it also with a epoxy party. The natural wood look is nice, but the better is to colorize it into some darker shade. I found at home three shades of alcohol based mordants. Therefore, I am testing on the residual wood piece which shade to use. Personally, I like the red one. I am applying a small amount of a mordant with a paintbrush. The wood looks very thirsty, so it immediately soak in. The mordant is dry after a few hours, however I read away for one day. I have a good experience with lacquer varnishes because they are very resilient and easy for polishing. I wanted to apply varnish first with a small paint roller, but the result was not adequate. The second and third layers I painted with a paintbrush. As you can see, the surface is nicely shiny, but still very porous. I am trying to sand down one layer of varnish, and this way, hopefully, all imperfections will disappear. I use smooth sanding cloth for a car paint job. This smooth semi gloss coat also looks interesting, but I want to achieve high gloss finish. If you have a car, then you can use same polishing compounds or wax. After fine polishing, the surface is nicely smooth. I have some metal nameplates from Flyhawk, but I didn't found any nameplates for Yamato Battleship, so I designed in 3D my own and print it. This it will be in the next bonus video tutorial. I like working with wood, especially when the result is lovely. So what do you think? The display stand is only a small step to another complex ship model, but definitely it is good start. So that is all, thank you for watching and see you next time.